with class 11 you are now entering into the world of economics you might have studied some economics some economic aspects some economic concepts in class 10 or in class 9 but your systematic study of economics begins with class 11 before we take up topic wise the details what we study in each topic let us first talk about how to approach the subject how to study the subject so that you feel comfortable in studying the subject the first i will like to tell you a brief outline of the course your course your curriculum your syllabus is divided into three parts one is statistics second is Indian economic development third is project work statistics is of 40 marks Indian economic development part B that is it has 50 marks your project work that is the part C of the syllabus is of 10 marks in this way your syllabus is divided into three parts statistics Indian economic development and project work let us also note down the broad components of the three parts these broad components are known as units there are six units in all three in statistics and three in Indian economic development part B plus there is a project work in statistics part A of the course the three units are introduction in introduction we are mainly going to study the relevance of statistics with the subject of economics relevance of statistics with the subject of economics then we are going to study collection organization and presentation how to collect how to organize into tables graphs etc and how to present them in various forms both these units together they constitute of 13 marks they constitute of 13 marks the third unit is statistical statistical tools statistical tools and interpretation in statistical tools we we will know about things like averages mean median mode index numbers correlation and the various methods by which we summarize the different the what we have collected here what we have presented here 
we summarize them into meaningful results so that on the basis of that we can interpret the result what is the significance of the result result keh kya raha hai average kam hai ya zyada hai theek hai ya auron ke muqable mein galat hai is tarah ki baatein kuch hum isme karenge this is about statistics the next is indian economic development part b it also has three units unit number 4 is divided into two parts a and b development experience development experience 1947 90 economic reforms since 1991 why it has been divided into two parts it is because before 90 india was following a particular economic policy what is that policy we will study in detail when we study the contents in 1991 there was a significant departure a significant departure from that policy this is why it has been divided into two parts that what was the position during 1947 that is after attaining independence till 90 that is over 43 years what did we do in the field of agriculture in the field of industry in the field of foreign trade what were our programs what are our policies that we study first and you after 1990 in 1991 what were the significant changes in the policy why were these required inki zarurat kya thi ye changes kya thi in and inki success rate kya hai ye sari baatein jo hain ye hum b mein padhenge to jo iska pehla a hai that is of 13 marks and the second is of 12 marks then current challenges fifth unit current challenges ka matlab kya hai current problems facing the country challenges ka matlab hai how are our planners how is our government trying to face these problems because these problems are a challenge for example poverty is a big challenge how to remove poverty unemployment is a big challenge how to remove unemployment inflation a still bigger challenge rise in prices people are people are crying of rise in prices and how to control these prices what measures have been taken and all that we study what are we doing in the field of agriculture what are the challenges in the field of industry what are the challenges in the field of foreign trade all these we study in unit number 5 which constitutes of 15 marks then unit number 6 development experience remember this is also development experience but it is solely related to india this is development experience a comparison with the neighbors neighbors here mean the countries on the borders of india there are many countries on the borders of india but here we will talk about two countries pakistan and china we will compare how these three countries india pakistan and china have progressed over the year which of these three has gone a faster which of the three has gone slower we will not go into the reasons if china it is normally experienced is growing at a faster rate than india or has grown at a faster rate than india 
we will not go into the details of why China has grown, grown up, but we will just come to know what, where do we stand, where does India stand in comparison to its neighbor and we have selected two neighbors, Pakistan and India, unke per capita income kya hai, unke income kya hai, for all these things. We are going, unemployment rate kya hai, vagara vagara, we are going to compare all these things in this. Now, there is another aspect of your syllabus and that aspect is called open textbook assessment. In brief, OTBA. What is open textbook assessment? 